Hi guys, uh, the cyclicing year. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna share my experience uh, of driving a road bike for around 2,000 kilometers. Bike I'm talking about is. Java Celerio 3 disc. It's an Indonesian brand. So it get manufactured and imported in India. So there's a website called as choosemybicycle.com. So the bike was shipped uh, from Indonesia after I placed my order. So that's the best thing because I got the latest model. It took around 15 to 20 days for the bike to be delivered at my home and it was almost 85% fitted. So I didn't have to do anything. I just had to get the handlebar set. I had to just check whether the brakes are working just do a final tune up with the gear shifters and i was good to go i will share my experience of how the bike has performed what i like what i don't like everything so let's go and check out the bike so this is my bike this is a java celerio 3 s3 that is the model and as you can see it is a uci approved frame UCI is the Union Cyclist International, uh, the world's government body in sport of bicycle racing. So this frame is a racing approved frame already. It's an aluminium frame. It's a 6061 alloy. In almost all the alloy frames, you might be able to see at the edges there are welding joints. So in this bike, you will not find a single welding joint anywhere. It is so beautifully designed and crafted. This bike comes with a full Shimano Sora drivetrain and a decaf mechanical disc brakes. There is a carbon fork at the front. So the overall weight of the bike is around 11 kg. At the front, we have Shimano Sora R3000 two-speed front dealer. At the rear, we have Shimano Sora R3000 nine-speed derailleur. With it, we have a 11 by 28 teeth nine-speed cassette. And at the front, the crank, the configuration is 50-34 that is the teeth ratio that is present. Talking about the shifters and the brakes, the shifters are from Shimano Sora as well. It is also equipped by a mechanical disc brake. Talking about the rims, these are decaf 40mm rims. They also come from the house of Java. On these rims, it is CST Caesar 700 by 25C road racing tires. The stem and the seat post are from Deca brand. These are also Java's sister companies and just look how beautiful and aerodynamically it has been designed the color i've got here is matte black uh, so this is available in three colors it's a white a black and a blue the white and blue are a bit glossy but this black is so beautiful and it is a matte finish so i basically love matte colors i didn't expect any bike with such good finishes with such a good color and such a good uh, gear set at this price point the price of this bike is around 80,000 and there are some ongoing discounts that come and go so you might get this bike for around 70 to 75,000 that's a very good price for this configuration that it has so I am coming from an MTB category as MTB riders they don't have to worry about potholes speed breakers but with this bike you have to be very cautious as it has a 25c tire it they are very thin and they don't go well with potholes or speed breakers or even unmodulated roads although the carbon fork helps a lot to absorb a lot of uh, jerks but you have to be cautious as well so the first ride that i had with this bike was to khadakwasla dam that is located in pune uh, I, I just knew that it has to be very high the tire has to be rock solid so i did that the first ride i had my first puncture it was a pinch puncture and the pinch puncture happens when the pressure of the tire is lower so whenever you go through a bad patch the tire pinches and then it cuts the tube so the pinch puncture causes two punches at the same time i had a, a couple of co-riders with me they helped me to get rid of the puncture until now i have rode this bike for around 2000 kilometers and i have understood of how a road bike works how the geometry works and it is so beautiful because coming from an mtb i never understood of how people might achieve speeds above 30 32 35 i used to be so amused of how people are doing it but once you get on the bike you will come to know that you just have to apply a bit of pressure on the climbs on the road you just have to go with the flow uh, but on the mtb as the tire size is more the contact with the road is much more than what 
is there with the road bike because there is a lot of contact there is a lot of friction there is a lot of uh, resistance that the road provides and hence you have to put a lot of pressure while pedaling an mtv but with a road bike you have to put less effort and the bike moves more quickly so this is basically the difference between an mtv and a road bike about uh, the geometry and the position of the rider so an mtv has a very relaxed position you might face a lot of wind so because of that also your speed reduces but with this bike my back angle is around 60 to 70 degrees and it really helps to you know cut through the air so talking about my experience i am quite happy with the choice that i made because the quality of the frame is amazing gears are from shibano so they are very reliable the brakes are strong the position is very aerodynamic so it really helps me to achieve greater speeds the saying is true once you get on a road bike you can't get back to a slower mtb or a hybrid give you a perspective if you are riding an mtb for around an hour the effort that you utilize you can use the same effort to ride uh, a road bike with a higher speed for around one and a half hour so you might have seen a lot of people do brms and uh, most of them have road bike that is a simple reason that the effort that it takes to ride for a longer duration of time is less but at the same time what i realized is it is a bit uncomfortable than an mtv because uh, there is an always pressure on your hands on your uh, shoulders because you are in a very aggressive position and with every pothole it really brings a jerk to your shoulders to your back but apart from that i just love the bike and i just love how it rides so i was able to participate in a race recently so as I, as soon as the race started i was leading the race for around 15 to 20 minutes until the rest of the riders they caught up they had ultegra 105 uh, gear set combination bikes but this bike gave a tough competition competition to them and i finished fifth uh, in that race it really made me so happy and it, i thank my star that i made this choice and i got this bike in over the rest of the bikes that are available in the market so let's talk about some pros and cons of the bike uh, let's start with the pros so the bike is lightweight it is just 11 kgs with aluminum 6061 frame and a carbon fork the shifters the derailers the brake levers are all of Shimano Sora. There are no welding joints on the bike at all. You can't find any welding joints. You might feel it's a carbon bike because it looks like a carbon bike. So there are a lot of people who have asked me of how much did I got the bike for. And when I tell them the price, they are so shocked of how could you get such an amazing finished bike at such a low price. So that's a very big thumbs up to Java. Keep up the good work. It's very aerodynamically race oriented bike and the brakes are very strong. So I thought that mechanical disc brakes might create an issue, but for the bike, they are sufficient. Now let's talk about some of the cons that I feel. The current configuration of the tires is 700 by 25C and the fork is so aggressive that you can't even fit a bigger tire. So I can't go ahead and change it to a 28C tire if I think of converting this bike into an endurance bike or a gravel bike so that's something that i felt is a con for people who might think that they can change it at a later point in time and the crank that they have provided is from the decaf brand but i think they could have went ahead and provided with a shimano sora crank so that is the the last con that i think apart from that i don't think that i faced any issues with this bike so for any of you who's looking for a road bike in around 65 to 70 thousand range with a beautiful design with no aluminium joint marks with a Sora gear set with an aggressive position which might help in racing as well this is the perfect bike to go for hands down this bike beats every other bike in the market with the same configuration so you can definitely check out this bike this is all uh, from this video I hope you like it and please keep sharing this video with your friends so that anybody who's in need of a cycle or anybody who needs to see this this video reaches at that point in time so the cyclist thing is signing off. See you in my next video. Bye bye. Take care.